next question this evening is from Shirley Ann Clark. Hopefully UKIP will gain more than a handful of seats next month, given that UKIP will finish second in many constituencies. In the next few years, will UKIP push for proportional representation? Well, well Shirley Ann, I think the first past the post system works incredibly well in a two-party system, but we are no longer living in a two-party system. So the benefit of first past the post, well firstly it was that one man or woman represented an area and was recognised to do so, secondly was that it gave clear majority government. And isn't it funny, it's not even giving us that anymore because we're actually, you know, we're actually going to have another coalition next time round, possibly even a three party one and not a two party one. I think the first past the post system is now bankrupt, um, I think it has reached the point uh, where there are voters out there who simply don't engage because they cannot see the point. You know, if you're a high Tory living in Sheffield and it's a rainy Thursday evening, you're probably not going to bother to go and vote. And similarly, if you're a socialist living in Isha, there isn't a great incentive to go out and vote. So yes, we need electoral reform. And I do think an element of proportional representation should be put into the system. Personally, and this is not party policy, but personally, I think that the Jenkins Commission, and I've never agreed with anything much Roy Jenkins said during his life, but I think the Jenkins Commission, which said we should go for AV+, where we have two ballot papers, one where a man or woman would still represent an area, albeit a slightly larger area, and the second one where proportionally other views could get represented in Westminster, would incentivise everybody in the country to feel their vote wasn't wasted. So I want that. I want electoral reform on postal voting, where for the first seven years, after the uh, new legislation in 2000, for the first seven years, you could apply for a postal vote without proof of identity. And we've had postal vote scandals in Tower Hamlets and elsewhere that would shame a banana republic. So I would like to completely scrap the postal voting list and go back to postal voting on demand for people who are elderly or infirm, people in the armed forces, or people working overseas. And the third, if I, if I may, the third real political reform uh, that I believe in and the party believes in, um, and I know that Douglas and Mark have campaigned for, is I think we should have, as electors, the right of recall. If our Member of Parliament does something seriously wrong or fraudulent, we should be able as electors not to have to wait up to five years for election, but have the chance to sack them and put them before a by-election. Yeah.